Hey, here we are going to learn how to do Google Hangouts and I think it's very um, helpful if you have an earpiece with a, a microphone when you're doing a Google Hangout so you might want to get that and for those of you that are new to these kinds of things the technology uh, you know rat race if you want to call it I know it can be frustrating but just look at technology as as a way of leveraging your brain power. You know, there was a time when the car was new and people said, you want me to use the car? I mean, I, I don't want to learn that thing. And they wanted to stay in what, the, what they were used to in their comfort zone. Nowadays, everybody uses a car, you know. it's So we have to kind of stay up with these tools. If we're going to be in business, we need to keep up with the times because they're, they're methods of leverage. What this specific tool is going to allow us to do is allow everybody in our team to have a meeting without necessarily getting in a car and driving all the way across town or you know and we can be anywhere in the world with a good internet connection so once again it's important to have a really good internet connection but we've tested it with uh, a cell phone and it even works you know so you could actually be on the road somewhere and come in for a meeting so there's no more excuse anymore you can make my trainings you can make the meetings um, and I just encourage you to push through the, the difficulty learning curve and getting it because it might be a little difficult at first, but once you see how to set it up and how to work it, you'll know what to do. It'll be easy. You can come back to it. And uh, I encourage you that once you learn this tool, it'll be a great thing for, for leveraging your business and working with me. So for those of you that are new to the Internet, um, my mom is going to start from the beginning. So for, uh, uh, I'm asking for the patience for those of, out, of you out there that are really quick in these things. Um, let's just get through this. So first thing you're going to do is everybody needs to be connected on Gmail. Everybody needs to have a Gmail account to do this, to have a Google Hangout, to have a Google Hangout conference. So, And everybody that is going to be in the conference needs to have everybody else's contact information in their address book. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the URL, which stands for Universal Resource Locator, you're going to put HD, well, you don't have to even put HTTP. You can put gmail.com up at the top in the address bar. That's what that's called, the address bar, just as she's doing. And remember, you can stop this video and go backwards at any time. Take notes. There's no need to just power through it. You know, if you need to stop and go back, that's the advantage of the video format. Okay, so you're going to go to gmail.com, because I know I'm going really fast here. So remember, you can stop it. And then you're going to go over on the left and click on the Gmail pull-down menu under where it says Gmail. Go to contacts. Can you see okay, Mom? Mm -hmm. Click new contact. <clears throat> and you want to get the exact, um, well, you can put their name in there, obviously. So why don't we just pretend it's me, okay? Put Will Taylor. Right there. Mm -hmm. Will Taylor. It's really easy. Awesome. Go down to email. This is the important part. Right down there where it says email. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to ask, make sure that you get the exact email address from the moderator or whoever else is, is your, who you need to connect with in there. So for me, it's improv.will at gmail.com. Okay, go down to the bottom where it says add and pull down that menu. Let's see what that says. What is it saying? Okay, that allows, that allows you to add other fields. In this case, we don't really need to. Okay, so then you go over to the right where it says Connected Profiles, Add Invite, click that. Okay, oh. just hold it down and then click on whatever you want it to be in. Family? So put family, great. And that's it. Now, you're, now, I've, at, now I've been added. So um, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to, over on the right-hand side, there's a little thing that says Maggie Taylor Plus. Mm -hmm. Let me go over to there. No, now I need a chair. Okay, hold on. Okay, so click on right here in the right hand corner. That's your Google Plus right here. dashboard. Click that. And then on the left hand side, it'll say home. There's a pull down menu. You want to pull down to Google Hangouts. You see it down there somewhere? Uh, Hangout. Click on Hangout. Hangouts. Okay. Good. Now we want to start a Hangout with me. The way you would do that, over on the right-hand side, way right-hand, you have to go back. You see over here on the right, it says plus, new hangout. Yeah. Okay, you can click that. Now you can go on the right-hand side and click who you want to be in the hangout. Or you can add, put their name in there. If you want to put, put Will Taylor, uh, up at the top right now, it's in a search thing. Right now, I'm already in there. If you look down, you see Will Taylor, There's that's me. So click on the little box. Let's say if we want to invite Kenda, we click on Kenda. Okay, or let's... 
Let's Mary. Mm -hmm. Then then go all the way down to the bottom. It's going to say start a hangout. It's going to add those people, and it's going to contact those people. Remember, you can stop the video, take all the time you need, post a video, hang out. Now, so this is going to say um, if you want to invite somebody via email, okay? Wait, everybody you invite, we'll see, okay. Hmm. Okay, I, this is just going to post that you have a hangout going out on your Google Plus page. So you can skip this if you want, but uh, let's go ahead and try it, okay? Let's, why don't you put in there, hey, join us, okay? I'm just kind of improvising and then here. Say, sure. Click on require guest to be 18. Huh, why is it not allowing us to say? Okay, everyone you invite will see in the first response will join your If you'd rather hang out with someone specific, you can always video call them directly. Okay, well, why don't you just press cancel? For some reason, it's not working. I don't know what that is. Okay, no one has been invited to this video call. Okay, well, then invite somebody. Go to that on there where it says invite. Click that. I thought we did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go in, in the little search box and put in. Um, you, there, go to one of your little groups, put family. Okay, good. Now click out of it on the right, click out, now go invite. Great. Okay, now it says your post has been shared, leave this window open and can people... Okay, so we're still not... <laughs> Probably because nobody is online right now. Oh wait, it just... Tech, on, my, on my iPad right now, I just got a notification oh, that you? I was okay. invited. Okay, right. so I... I'm on. I'm recording this with the uh, iPad, so I'm going to go to part two. I'm going to have to switch to my iPhone to record the next part, okay? So part two of video is coming after this. Hang tight. All right, Maggie's going to stay on. Okay, here we are. I've got my iPad up, and I'm going to connect with my mom on the Google Hangout, so I need to get the Hangout app up so I can do this, or I can pull down and just put in Hangout in the search. There we go. All right, and she invited me, so I should see if I go over here. Yep, if you're at the top where it says Hangout, it says Maggie Taylor added. Hold on, let me get that focus better. Maggie Taylor added Will Taylor, da da da. da and you can see on the right there's a little green, um, green video camera. I'm going to click on that, and that's hopefully going to initiate. Yep. That's initiated the call with mom. There we are. As you can see down on the right-hand side, it shows me and my mom. And eventually I could have, hey, mom. Okay, I could actually have a bunch of people here, and we could have a conversation. So if I click in the middle of the screen, it's going to bring up my menu options at the top. I can add more people by clicking. So I'm going to turn down the volume. Mom, just bear with me. Okay, so there's not feedback. All right, so I've got up here in the right-hand corner a little box where I can add more people, a little person, if you can see it. But I have to click the middle of the screen to have it come up. So I can add more people to the conversation. I can go over here. And then again, in the right-hand corner, I click this box if I want to add somebody. Let's say, let's add uh, Rob here. So I'm searching for Rob Hamlet and try to add him to the conversation. There he is. I click on him, and then I have to go back up in the right-hand corner and press this little plus. And then I click return to the call right here at the top. And if I look at the bottom, I see his picture added. And Mom, do you see his picture added? No, I don't. Okay. She doesn't see it added, but if he gets added eventually, then hopefully he'll come on here in a second. You don't see the guy with the cap, Rob? That's probably because you're not his friend. Now, there's a bunch of controls at the bottom. If you click in the button, like, my mom is on a desktop, I'm on a iPad. If you click in the middle again, it brings up all these different options at the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. I can turn off the video. Did you notice how the video went off? Okay, and then I can turn the camera around with this one so that it's showing the front. <laughs> awesome. And then I can also turn off the camera. I mean, not the camera, the, the audio. Now she can't hear me. And then this one, I, I believe, is volume, but it's not responding right now. 
And let's see, up here in the far right is, I think, a messaging option. Do you see that, Mom, on your side? Yes, this um, blue box. So if I want to go to just writing a text in here, I can do that. And then I click the little right thing on the right here, the little send button. Do you see that? 